powered by Virginia. Radio. What is going on, everybody? A Monty on the track here with another episode, another edition of A hey, Chill. It's just a podcast. And if you guys don't know what our show is, it is a show about our opinions, and we talk about things, about life, about relationships, about music, about just anything we feel like talking about that week. And so if you're not hip, now you are. Thank you guys for tuning in. It is another dope week. We have a bunch of cool stuff to talk about this week. I've, been, I've said her name a whole bunch of times before, and um, she just ended up never coming the next week. So um, <laughs> this time, I didn't say her name last week because I didn't know who my guest was going to be this week. But look at that. We finally have Shani Allure on the show. Hello, What's Shani. What's up, y'all? How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm great. All right. So as long as you speak into your mic, bring it a little closer to you. Just a tad bit. Yeah, grab by the bass, by the bass. Yeah, I just want to make sure that you're loud and clear in the mic. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got me? Yeah. Okay. So I told her, don't be coming up on my show looking fly, and she does the opposite. <laughs> She's just trying to make me look like a scrub. I don't appreciate it that much, but it is what it is. <laughs> We're just going to continue on with the show anyway. But Shani, tell them a little bit about you, who you are, what you do. Well, my name is Shani Allure. Um, I'm a music artist, um, model, and now actress. And... Um, Oh, yeah. now an actress, huh? Mm-hmm. What yeah. you acting in? Let me making sure you look out for that film. The film is based around mental health. It's a very serious film. but um, Who shot it, correct it, corrected, I, directed I, it? I can't tell y'all too much about nothing. I'm under NDA. I, what? <laughs> so you can't <laughs> tell us? just be what, looking out for that. If you're in an NDA, then you can't even tell us about the film. I can. But I won't. Stay tuned. What kind of ending? <laughs> How are you not to, allowed to tell us who created and directed I it? I just told you. Okay, so shout out to Rock Nation 757. Thank you. Okay. Shout out to the director, Miss Lamira. And other than that, stay tuned. And then we're going to switch gears and go to uh, Moves to Mixtape 2.0. That's going to be dropping soon. Make sure y'all. Moves Make to sure Mixtape. Y'all, y'all, she don't want to talk about that. the movie machine <laughs> in some type of film. <laughs> this, this, no, this is not that, porn. This is that. It's not porn, mom. Whoa. <laughs> now, I never even thought about that being the case, but now I'm wondering. And maybe this is all have to, maybe this has to be private for the simple fact that it's porn. It's not porn. I mean, we never know. I guess we'll figure it out. It's not porn. I guess we'll find out when it comes out. Huh? Look on Pornhub soon. It's not porn. <laughs> just what porn you can do. I'm that, just playing. I'm just playing. At that allure girl with only fans. Uh, so I'll ask you a couple <laughs> things about yourself real quick. Um, I don't ever do this, but you're a homie. This is a close friend of mine. Very, very close. Very, very close to this girl right here. I hate her and love her at the same he time. He does hate me. She hurts my nerves. He hates me. But she's a... Uh, I love him, though. Yeah. <laughs> we have a love-hate relationship. Yeah, he cusses me out and tells me what I need to hear. And then I cry. But it's like, it's like tough okay. love type of shit, though. Because like, you got to have that friend that just is real with you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's... I just try to keep it real with her at all times. He does. Even though sometimes he be wrong about some stuff. But it'd be okay. Because like I said, I Do cry I, a little though? bit. And then after I cry, then we'd be okay after Do that. Do I, though? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> it is what it is, you know? No, but... um. So, yeah, we got a bunch of good topics to talk about today. Um, Well, not a bunch, but we got a few. And I figured we'd you know, have some pretty good conversations about them. She actually was one of my first guests who actually helpfully sent me some topics. You know what I'm saying? I mean, some of my other guests, they helped me come up with stuff, but... <clears throat> excuse me. I burped it. <laughs> so we're going to get into the topics. The first thing that we're going to talk about is... <clears throat> um, First things first is, do you think, like, it's possible... Hold on, I have to reread the question so I can make sure that I, that I say it right. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, a big topic on our show is the men and women stuff, the men versus women stuff, relationship stuff. But I, she said she didn't want to talk about that the whole episode, so we won't. But we're going to talk about some of the stuff now, and then we're going to move on. Um, <clears throat> so, the first thing is, is if women started to ask men out more, do you think there would be more relationships? I need your reasoning, too. I can't just get a yes or no. I think yes and no, because my reasoning behind that is... I think it's up to the individual at the end of the day. And a lot of men are waking up to their worth and potential now. It's not so easy that a woman can just be like, oh, I look good. I'm going to go talk to him. If he has his stuff together, he's going to look at you like, okay, what you got to offer me? Because I'm good by myself. Nah, not everybody. I mean, some guys, but not everybody. Some guys, they're fine with leeches. 
eh, some of them. You know what I mean? But I, I guess in the in the retrospect of a relationship, I think maybe they'll look at it like that. But if it's just we're just linking up to kick it, then I mean, yeah, females should be more forward. I'm very forward. If I want to kick it with somebody, I'm gonna say it. Well, so. do you think that in today's day and age, are females a lot more forward? Yes. I agree. <laughs> I, I, I mean, girls, like, nowadays, like, they'll just straight up be like, yo, I'm just trying to suck and fuck. Like, no, let's get for it. real. Like, they really are just wide open about it. Not every girl, but a lot more women these days are just very open about just like, yo, I'm trying to fuck you. Like, or I'm just trying to fuck with you. Like, I want, you know what I'm saying? But do you feel like a lot of people, like, because I feel like a lot of times there's situations that happen where, like, they'll try to how do I say this? Like, they want to, like, fuck with somebody, but they also still want to do their own thing. Right. So, like, how is this fair? It's how does just, this work? Like, I, don't... I mean, if you're up front in the beginning about what you want from somebody, then there's not room for somebody to be like, oh, well, I thought we were together. I thought this, that, and that. Like, if you're up front and say, hey, I just want to fucking suck, then that's what it's going to be. Well, I think that's the issue is that a lot of people don't, do that is like when when the relationships like initially start like it's just it's more or less like you tell the person what they want to hear type shit like i don't know if that is if, if everybody's like that no, i don't true. always try to tell the girl that like everything she wants to hear but i mean i'm not gonna be like <clears throat> super super detailed about everything if she asks me something and it's like super i don't know i guess it just depends. So when you meet someone, you literally meet the representative. You never meet the person. You meet the representative. The person that when you're on a date with someone and you tell them, oh, this is why I never answer this question. So what are you looking for in a man? I don't ever answer that question because now you're going to dress yourself up to look exactly like that guy for the first couple months. And then the real you is going to come out when you get comfortable. So. And that's what yeah. happens like all the time. With females it's- too. It, it's men and women yeah it, it happens in relationships all the time it's like yeah the three month span is when you really do start to see like it's that like real person six. It, i want really it, it depends out for i guess a year. it really depends it depends <laughs> on how long you like or how much you chill with that person like because if you're consistently with them every day you're gonna learn a lot more about them like in a lot shorter amount of time but if you're not consistently with them it's gonna probably take a lot you longer. learn the little things that they try to hide like Maybe they have, like, bad hygiene things about them or stuff like that if you're with them all the time. But you don't meet the real them. The representative don't go away until they get comfortable. So, like... That representative will be there. So, what is, like, a red flag, like, from the jump to you? So, like, is is somebody... So, for instance, for me, if a girl... If you're chilling with a girl and she's... First of all, if her phone's on D&D and she keeps it down, that's a red flag. Damn, my phone on D&D right now. (laughs) Well... If you're, I mean, to me, that's just a red flag because it's just like, I mean, I don't put my phone on D&D when I'm with a girl because it's like, if I'm chilling with a girl, I'm going to make sure that I'm not going to be, the only people who are going to be calling me is for sessions. Right. But then again, I mean, I guess it does really depend though. Because I, I guess there has been times where I put my phone on D&D. But. <laughs> I mean, do you put your phone on D&D when you chill with people? Yes. Why? Because I want to give them my full attention. And I don't See, want that's to be a on my good phone. answer. I don't want to be distracted by somebody that calls me and piss me off and change my mood if I'm having fun. Like, I just want to be with that person. That was the reason why I came out, you know? And that's a good answer. I, I mean, that's pretty much, I mean, what it should be. But a lot of the time, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't think that's the real truth. Not not you. I'm just saying, like, with a lot of people, because they'll probably get the same me. answer. But it's more or less that they probably have other people who's texting them. They don't want to see. They don't want you to see that. Whether like it doesn't matter what level in the relationship y'all are at, y'all could just be chilling, kicking, fucking whatever. But they still don't want you to see that they have other dudes texting them. Like, cause at the end of the day, they're not gonna want other bitches to be texting you unless they really don't care that much and they really are just using you to fuck. I mean, I guess I'm a different type of breed then, cause honestly, I really don't care about none of that stuff. When you with me, you with me. You gonna break bread? We good. Other than that, I don't want to hear about Susie and your phone. I don't want to look at your phone. I don't look at phones. I don't know. If you get a text, I don't be like... So how do you um, how do you feel about guys who constantly want to look through your phone? Is that that's a, a, is that that's a, immediate no-go. That's a, that's a red flag to you? Immediate no-go. What you looking do, at my what, phone? What, what do you think the bill? reason would be, though? Like, what, do you think it's... Because he got trust issues, which ha- could have absolutely nothing to do with me and everything to do with what he's been through, which I will not fault him for that. But, baby, that's when you walk true. up to me, I start with a clean slate until you feel like I did something that messes with your trust. And I mean, that's that's fair. That's fair enough. 
Um, I, I don't know. I, I, just me personally, if the girl's not giving me any reasons to give red flags, but I mean, to me, the, the D and D that's, that's a little bit of a red flag, but then again, it could be for what she said. It could be because she just wants to give me all of her attention or you could just put your phone down yeah. and if it rings, it rings. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just saying, um, but everybody's different. So <laughs> I mean, if that's how you feel about it, um, what's the I next like topic I got? What's the next topic I got? All right. So what are some things that men and women find unattractive about each other? You as a woman, what do you find unattractive in a man? Bad hygiene. You must always smell good. You must always be clean. What if he just came from the gym? Oh, baby. Well, that's cool. If he just came from the gym, that's different. But there's no excuse why, okay, I seen you on Monday, and then I see you again on Thursday, and you got the same pants on. Why? Did you take them off and wash them? All right, well, or you just been in them trapping. I mean, I'm going to be a hundred with you. Like, sometimes, more or less the winter time <laughs> than the summertime. Okay? More or less the winter time, I'm going to say, because in the winter time, I'm less likely to be sweaty. Right? So, in the winter time, I'll rock the same sweats for like two, three days. Like, I mean, and then I'll wash them. You got to wash your balls, though. I mean, I wash my balls and I shower every day. Okay, then. I shower every single day, but it's just like, I mean, if I'm, in, I'm sitting in a chair all day at a desk... If it's if I'm not sweating my balls off all day, like when it comes to shorts in the summertime, I can't do it. I can't do it because I'm, you know, I get hot. Things start to get all juicy down there and shit. I can't keep on going with all that. I just got to. But eh, when it comes to the wintertime, I could rock sweats for like two, three days. Not the whole outfit. Like I got to change my shirt. I got to change my drawers. I got to change my sweater. But I can rock the same sweatpants. Though. I mean, I guess it's not even really about that because everybody know their body and they know how much they sweat and everything like that. But I don't know. I just feel like you. There's never a reason for you to be musty unless you literally just came from the gym. Um, like, I agree. There's not a reason why you should come to an event or and if you you're look fresh from top to, to top to bottom, but you musty. There or if you're is outside never a reason for that. Day. If you're outside in the heat all day, I can see why you must be. Bad. Right. But other than that, there's other no that, reason. Yeah. Other than that. So that's like kind of something that I don't like in a relationship. I don't like... Um, Not just in a relationship, just in guys in general. Well, in men in general, yeah, of course. That in men or women, even friendships. I've cut a friendship off because I'm a baby. Wow, because dude sunk? Or because that person because sunk? Because, yeah, the person didn't have good hygiene. Baby, when we move, we move as a unit. So that means when we go to the show, we going to be smelling together you're gonna be standing by me and they ain't gonna know where it came from <clears throat> no i mean i agree with like, you like they're gonna be like oh shanny Lord was with the, the no stanky motherfucker. yeah no, no i agree with baby. you though because i mean even like <laughs> just recently a couple days ago i had like i don't know who out of the group was thinking so bad <laughs> but there was a group of dudes who came in and one of them or all of them probably stunk like bad like it was not a like b.o st- and, and it was like there was like an after stench in the booth after they were done. And it was like I had to spray the whole booth down and sanitize because it was just an after funk that you just didn't want to smell. Mm-mm. You don't want to smell that funk. That, that's <clears throat> definitely one for me. What's, what's one for you? Um, Hygiene is definitely one of the big things. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Like, I can't fuck with a girl if she stinks. Like, if you no stink, cow. I'm gonna be like, hold up. Like, like, especially, like, because I, I don't know. Like, I've just, I've dealt with some girls that just didn't smell good. And it's just like... If you don't smell good coming out your house, that means your house stinks. Mm-hmm. If your house stinks, that means it's probably dirty. Mm-hmm. And if your house is dirty, that means you probably dirty. And a lot of times you smell your own bo before somebody else does. That means you just yeah, didn't give like, a yo, f. That's why sometimes you, you gotta give do that when you came out. You gotta do that. You gotta right, hit I'm it with good, the. I'm good. Uh, you gotta, and then you gotta wipe the under titty sweat. Oh, okay, I'm good. Like you can't be just coming out smelling crazy. Like at the end of the day, because people talk, and people are gonna talk. And one thing about it is, for me, I don't know about anybody else, but for me, once I smell you one time, you're always just going to smell like that. Like, I don't yes. care how you smell today, but you <laughs> smell like you smell yes. when I first met you. And that's the just The first that. time I'm I met sorry. you, you smell like ass. <laughs> Straight up. I'm just being honest. You, you smell like that cheeks. Your name and... is Sir Onion. Like, Oof. we will not play with you today. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. Um... Another thing that I find unattractive is, like, super bad attitudes. Like, I don't like girls who are just, like, super bitchy all the time. Like, if you just feel like you're better than everybody else, you just know you're bad. Like, it's one thing to know you're you're good looking, but it's another thing to just be a dick about it. Like, yeah. 
I just don't like assholes in general. I'm an asshole, but I'm like, I'm not like an asshole about like a self-centered asshole. Like, I'm just an asshole to be an asshole. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was about to say, you're just an asshole to be an asshole. Like, I'm not Facts. an Andrew Tate type of asshole. Like, <laughs> but I'm just like a, you know, I tell it like it is. That's just me. <laughs> Whatever. But, um, yeah, I definitely don't like attitudes. Um... Okay, another thing that I find kind of... It's not, like, unattractive, but it's kind of more or less a red flag to me. Yeah. So, say you're talking to somebody, right? Mm -hmm. And you guys kind of get to a more intimate level, I guess, in your conversation. And you're just like, yo, let me get some pics. And she already has hella shit ready to send. Oh, damn. Like, if she's got mad videos and pictures already on her phone ready, like, she sends it, like, directly after you send that, like, no less than two minutes later. It's me. It's (laughs) It's <laughs> type of a red flag to me because I'm just like, you got to know what kind of girl you're dealing with. But it's like, yo, girls be shocking you, people be shocking you because you really don't know. Like, because like they could just be super freaky for just one dude, but it's just like, I don't know. I guess it really depends on how long you were talking to that girl. And yeah, like you got to get a feel for that before her. you even ask for that because one, I mean, it, if you would have got deep down into it, you would have known that Shorty did only fans. And then you would have been like, okay, well, she got stuff ready. You well, know what I'm saying? Send it on through. A lot of times, I can, like, I can kind of scope out OnlyFans girls pretty easily. And I say that because a lot of them promote their shit. But the ones who don't promote their shit and just have the OnlyFans, I mean, A, it's me. what's the point? B, because it sells they do, no, not necessarily. <laughs> Mine does. I mean, you have, to, you have to look at it like this, though, with you OnlyFans <laughs> girls, okay? There's a million girls out here who think that you're freaking OnlyFan models now, right? Who think that you're fucking porn stars, right? Oh, you guys are like are Why like local that? rappers, right? You guys are like rappers, up and coming artists, right? It's a very oversaturated market that everybody's doing now, yeah. right? So you can look good all you want. You can have a banging body. You could do some freaky shit. It's not even about that. But at this point, it's like. It's just like with the rapping. You got to be consistent, Shorty. You, you got to be, be putting out new content every you day. This is like out. TikTok with it, Shorty. Because I don't know. do you, are your fans going to get sick of just watching the same old content every day? I would think so. It just de- I I think I will say from my experience, it depends on the girl. It depends on the following that you had before you started it. And there are some people mm. that's followed me from my modeling journey that no matter what I'm selling, I could be selling hot thongs in the middle of the summer. They're going to buy them. Like, regardless. So, I mean, it just depends. But if you're just a random girl and you're just starting your OnlyFans and you just put up a couple titty videos and then some guys are like, oh, no, we want PP. You know what that is. I'm not going to say it because you're on TikTok. But, yeah, they want Pussy that. for anybody who Pussy didn't play. know. Pussy play. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. That I can is. easily bleep I didn't know words. if we were allowed to say that. I, I bleep out words. It's okay. Okay, but, um, yeah, so, I mean, if you're not that type of girl or whatever, you just got to put that up front. I think what is great about my no promo involved is that I tell them before they even subscribe you can see it right there is that there's no pussy play here like you're just gonna get me so then me as a consumer nice little... me as the consumer knowing that there's millions of other girls who are gonna have pussy play what's the point of me subscribing to your page exactly. what about your page is gonna make it more interesting than all these other girls who are shoving dildos and dicks up their ass exactly that's what I wanna know you know what I'm saying you gotta subscribe and see at that allure girl yeah but boy. see but you telling me that there's no pussy play does not make me any more suspicious of your page or it doesn't make me want to look at your page anymore because you're just like no pussy play oh then what the fuck is going to be on your page i don't want to see that shit but listen that's how i'm going to look as a consumer as a as a guy who would i mean i don't really look at only fans i don't i love it i love it because the greatest thing about that and what you just said is that you're one consumer and you're right, and there's other and guys who are just different. Fans, I mean, so they speak differently. They I'm like also to just see me, me, so talk. they like to see me talk with my titties out. That's why it's the vibes. That's what they come to see. The vibes. I'm gonna be a hundred with y'all. <laughs> if a girl's titties are out and she's talking <laughs> to me, I'm not listening to her. The vibes. I'm just they coming for the vibes because I'm funny. <laughs> I, I think they're just more or less coming for the titties. <laughs> they might be coming for that too, but. What's different is that there's a lot of girls that's doing... Yeah, but you also have to understand that there's also a lot of girls who are talking these dudes' heads off and they don't give a fuck about that. They just want to see you play with your pussy. Right. And the but hope I mean, that they'll see it one day is what keeps them coming back like good oh, crack in the 80s. Oh, that's sad. That's <laughs> sad, guys. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm You're not going to see it. 
So, oh well, thanks for sharing with everybody that they're never gonna you see your pussy. Say? So I it's hope some true. of her fans are watching this, and now you know I you're never gonna see anything. I hope they're watching to too, cause they know underwear. deep down in my heart I love you, baby. No, they she know doesn't. What's going on. She loves the fact that you they pay know her, what's going just like on. every other OnlyFans girl. They don't give a. Say? They don't give two don't fucks about. Don't listen to him. Money. He's an angry man. No, don't listen not. to him. I get. I get. Y'all know my heart. Y'all know y'all been rocking with me since <laughs> goddamn 2017. I'm just. I'm keeping it real. Y'all know what it is. Don't no, listen fuck to that. Him. I'm keeping it real right now. Don't I'm just to being. Him. I'm being cracking. real for all the motherfuckers <laughs> who are getting scammed out of these only pay and only fan pages, I'm and exactly sorry. why I don't subscribe to these. All only. right, because listen, I subscribed to one girl's page for one month just to see because she had oh. promised me that it was gonna be worth it, and she was a home girl, and I was like, you know what, I will support you for one month. Should have never supported a home. Girl. Well, you gotta support the hoes. You don't. She know. had a hell of a lot of content that I sure as hell like to see. All right. Well, then it wasn't for nothing. Hey, it wasn't for nothing. But my point, for. I'm not complaining. What I'm saying is, is it was well worth the seven ninety nine. I'm dead as fuck. Listen, baby. Let me tell y'all something. I learned. They a hell gonna of a lot complain about it. all day about it. You ain't show enough titty. You ain't show enough ass. You only showed the left lip and not the right. They're going to complain all day. Wait, girl, but do as that? Long as they keep, yeah. As long as they keep tipping and paying that money, then we good. Can we rewind we real good. quick? No, we not rewind. We go fast Hold forward. On. We look to the future so right here. So what is, what is the pleasure in seeing a lip? Like, I need to see it all. If I'm seeing the left lip, I mean, I might get a little aroused, but I'm not going to get, like, boner hard. I'm going to be like, oh, look, it's a lip. You're I mean, if it's people. a really saggy lip, too. Like, what if it's a really nasty-looking, saggy-looking lip, and then you just fucked up your whole vagina because you just showed him half of it? I, it I can't looking. relate to that scenario, so I don't know. But I will say <laughs> that, um... Uh, why, 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 why do you subscribe to these pages if you don't like them? Oh, I've only... Uh, like I said, I've only subscribed to one one page, and that was to support a friend, and I really wanted to see what the hell she had up there. And it was well worth it. Otherwise, I don't subscribe to OnlyFans. I don't even have an OnlyFans account. Do you feel a way? What? Like, deep down inside? You, you're really passionate about this OnlyFans stuff. Do you feel a way? Feel passionate about what? Like, do you feel a way about, like, people on OnlyFans? No, I'm just saying that you guys have to look at this as a business perspective that if you're going to be having OnlyFans, make sure that it's worth it to your fans or it's not even going to be there for very long. Absolutely. But you say you look at it as a business standpoint, right? Yeah, from a business standpoint. All right, so don't be trying Only to... OnlyFans is for pussy point. play. Don't you be better to, start no, playing not, with the because pussy. Because it didn't like. start like that. It happened. <laughs> coronavirus can't... You know what? Hey, it may have not happened like that, but it's like that now. It man. is, but you want to know something? There's people on there that don't do that, and that's cool. And you're right. And I appreciate All those people because, yeah, that's where I'm at with it. But regardless of that, if you do do pussy play... I'm not shunning you. Get it how you live, girl. Or die. <laughs> but Yo, if um, you're a dude and you're succeeding off of OnlyFans, fucking all praise to you. Dude. I say pussy play for guys because they call it a bussy. <sighs> what? They call it a bussy. A bussy. A bussy. What? When what? you're a guy, but you're a bottom. What? Hey, <laughs> 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 When you're a guy, but you're a bottom, like you're, you know. Wait, pause. Is this for like a gay relationship? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. I get so, it. So they call but it bussy. You're talking about like a fucking regular That's why I say straight bussy relationship. Play or pussy play. Like you don't want to exclude everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's included. Um, it's 2022. Let's get it. Okay. I mean, I'm talking about heterosexual, just normal. Anyway, I'm going to move on to the next time. I don't know where this went. <laughs> I have no idea where this went, but um, the pussy. <laughs> big shout out to anybody who does OnlyFans. You know, if you do it, fucking, if you're up there and you are just popping your shout pussy out, out there, us, shout out to you, fucking, shout all the to power us. to you. You're probably the never gonna get taken. Is tanking. You're probably not gonna get taken seriously as a woman, like in a relationship. That's a lie. Don't listen to him. I mean, the economy unless the guy's is sucker, taking right now, and you want to know something? This guy is one pupil out of how many fish in the sea. We will not sit here and condemn. Women or men for doing what they got to do to make their money. I'm not condemning anybody. What I'm saying is if you're going to do it, bitch, do it. I. That's all I'm saying is okay. if you're going to do it, you best I go all out. I respect that message. I start doing, I start go all out with my shit. I can respect that message. Just Facts. saying. I can respect that message. I'm just saying. Yo, all respect to you guys because I would not do it. I'll film it. You guys want me to film your shit? Yo, I'll be right there with the camera all up in there getting all them fucking angles. I'll be in there just... 
directing fuck the fuck out of that. Tequila. <laughs> she decided I wanted to drink tequila tonight, so I said okay, and here we are. A fucking all right. So let's 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 put this in perspective for anybody who doesn't know. Let's go. Let's have a a guy who's been stuck in a studio for three weeks straight. Oh God. With no day off, who is just like I need a day off, right? Who had just been frustrated with everybody around him for absolutely no reason for an entire day. The monster. Just because he just wants a day off. <laughs> but he does it to himself. Right? So then I have people around me. You need to take a day off. I know. I do it to myself. But when the money calls, you go do it. Right? Right? So you mix tequila <laughs> with a frustrated Amonti and you get this. You get a very entertaining show. <laughs> With a very just unique type of fucking energy that he is on this type of day. I'm loving it. I'm feeding off of it. And I love it too, man. No, I'm actually, I am just so appreciative with everything that's around me. It's just sometimes, like I said, man, I've, I've already talked to her and him about it. It's just sometimes you push yourself too far. Yeah. And you get, you just get frustrated with yourself, honestly, because you're tired. Everybody needs a self You're doing the same day. thing every day, all day for 12, Everybody. 16 hours a day. You get tired. Everybody needs a self care day. So right? yeah, you so you gotta choose you. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes you need to just like yo fuck everybody else. Yeah. And just go do fuck you. These sessions. It's just it's it's what sucks for me is that it gets hard because now I'm just in like such this whole like rotation and routine of like once I get up I go to the studio. Yeah. And it's like when I get up, like this morning for instance, I got up at about eight o'clock. You get up early as shit. And usually you that's get up late at like for seven. me. Are you kidding I know me? that's what I'm saying. Like you usually get up. Yeah, like I'm up six, at like seven. six, seven o'clock, like, five o'clock. Shit, you sometimes. be up early as shit. Um, but I also didn't go home till kind of late. And then I was, I was tired last night. Like he'll tell you, I was loud to tell you, I was tired last night. I was even fucking up the vinyl. I was tired. <laughs> I was tired. Like, and um, it's just like I woke up this morning and it's just like I started playing Oculus for a little bit and I was like, I feel bad for not being at the studio working on shit. <clears throat> so then I came to the studio. So it's just like when I'm not here, I feel bad for not being here. But then when I get here, I don't get frustrated for being here. But I'm like, all right, let's do it. And then I start doing sessions. And then by like my third session, I'm just like, or somebody cancels. I, I don't, I don't even know. Shit. The cancellations are like, ah! yeah, like that'll fuck to me shit. these days. I've it's like fucking. That. Thank you, Jesus. I've but, noticed it. No, honestly, but it's good because. There's busy times and there's not busy times. So I am appreciative of the busy times that I have now. And that's honestly another reason why I'm just saying fuck it and doing as much as I possibly can while it's on a roll. Because there's been weeks where I really don't get booked that much. It'll be maybe like a couple sessions a week and that's it. Right. And you're not making that much. So, and I just got off a of vacation. I'm fresh off a of vacation. So I spent all my money when I was on vacation. <laughs> so, you know. It's it's something that I, it was well needed. It you was know? on booze and bitches. It's one of those things where I was able to relax for three weeks, and I knew when I got back it was go time, and it's been go time ever since. I've been making my own music, recording for everybody else, making new beats, still creating my content, still doing you know, just keeping consistent and just keeping it going and helping doing everything else in the process. Absolutely. You know, and it's it's just like you do need that time though. But I had that three weeks to sit and do nothing but chill, smoke, relax, and just like not worry about nothing and now it's go time until i'm until i pass out <laughs> for real it's go time not until, until you pass, pass out. out you gotta care about you you gotta you gotta take some time for you even if it's just a day right. every week um i do this thing called self-care sunday and sometimes it's not even on sunday but at least one day a week where i say fuck everybody and i don't answer my phone i don't respond to anything i just literally go unplugged and do what i want to do whether it's meditate work out write music record regardless i is something that makes me happy and so you need that everybody needs that at least one day a week we give Maybe. ourselves to everybody so much and it's like when you don't have anything left for yourself then you start being this angry person with the attitude and you don't know why you're lashing out at people and it's because you need to go fall back in love with yourself like I agree. Do something for yourself. I agree, and we ate, we even talked about that last week. Like, you have to, you have to, excuse me, you have to take time for you. You know, yeah. Like whether it's just like that you've been so busy. When you have your time completely occupied on other things, ninety five percent of your time, you completely start to lose track of yourself. 
Yeah. And so if you don't take time to just really just take your, what I call um, self, what do I call them? I'm sorry, I forget what I call them. No, I call them something different. Um, I just can't think of what they're called. It's going to pop into my mind. It's day. It is. Um, but <laughs> kind of, yeah, kind of self-care days. But like, you just got to really like look into your mind sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And just like do do something that really makes you happy. Yeah. You know, and and to me, that's one of the most important things that I've learned is like, it doesn't matter how much you like, like, it doesn't matter how much I like doing what I do. I need a break from it. Yeah. And I have to go do something else that I also enjoy doing or else I really get tired of doing what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, and I mean, but I've been so excited about doing what I'm doing because of all the new stuff that I've been getting and plugins and new ways of mixing. And I've just been super excited about it because it's just like my sound's getting better and better and better and better. But it's like, I'm just like forgetting that your dopamine level is just too high yeah like i'm just forgetting like <clears throat> sometimes you know. um so there's this video i'm actually gonna share it with you later but there's this video that um this guy started watching on youtube he's very enlightening and he told me that my dopamine levels were too high like i wasn't in a bad place everything was going good for me i was happy but it's i'm getting too much of that like, when you look at a funny video on your phone, you're getting dopamine. When you look at something that makes you happy or you're listening to something that you did and it makes you happy, that's dopamine. So sometimes I literally go unplugged to the point where I'm literally sitting in my house with nothing on. It's quiet. I'm just sitting there. I can meditate and I can write on, you know, with paper and not in my phone. But anything that makes me happy, like, I cut myself off of it because when I come back to it, I'm extra happy. I'm ex- I'm very, like, I'm really excited about it. But when you get in too much of that, it's like, okay. You know what I mean? You're not even really happy about it. You're getting too much like, dopamine. You're, you're like losing the excitement. Yeah. It's like, it's not as exciting. Like when I first got back, I was, daredevils in the world. I was so excited to get back and like get back to work and get back in the studio and, you know, start working again. I know. And I'm still excited every day to come here or else I wouldn't come here. <laughs> like I'm, I don't know. It's like I wake up in the morning and I'm just like studio. Like, it's just like, that's the first thing that pops into mind the second I wake up in my, in, in, like, I'm just like, studio, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get to it. And then you're here all day, and then at the end of the day, of course, you're just like, all right, it's time to go home. Of I know course, for you, though, it's not about money. Like, not all I the time. Like, you at the old building. Not all the time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know it, it, of course, you know what I mean? This is your shit, but I know when I met you at the old building, like, it was different. But now, like, you're in your shit, you have great clientele, everything is, you know what, what do I mean? mean, though? So when when I first met you at the old building, it was kind of like maybe because the old building, let's not be, f- you know, trash, yeah. yeah, let's not be yeah. fucked up. It was trash. It was horrible. So it was I know you hated guys. being there. Yeah, like you You're really legal. hated yeah. being there. You loved recording artists. You loved bringing people's vision to life. Loved and my like studio. That. Let's you not loved forget your studio that. Love you my made studio. it your own, but you hated being at that building. And it's I like think. at the end of the day, stay down until you come up. Until you can make your own. You know what I mean? And even when you moved here, I was just, I was really happy. I was looking at the walls. I was like, oh. Okay. I mean, it's been a constant progression <laughs> got, ever since. You got plaque space. Because, like, when I got there, I was there with Race the World. And I was kind of stuck in that situation for a while. And I felt like it wasn't a fair situation for me, personally. Um, then I finally got out of that. And I was on my own from that point. And it was just, like, so much better for myself. I was, like, happy about it. But then the building just was so fucked. Oh, my man. But, I mean, I was talking to some people the <laughs> other day. Bathroom. They They were telling me that pretty much the whole building is just becoming a whole lot different now. They were telling They're me that the, it? it's... Yeah, like, the owner actually came and they, they're fixing the building. There's a lot of the people in the front who were there, they're not there anymore. Like, a lot of the trappers and shit, they're not there anymore. Like, the building is becoming a lot different. Yeah. So, I mean, that's really good. I mean, that's dope for that building. Another thing that it wasn't just that it was a trap house, it was ghetto. It was the <laughs> fact that it was too many people. Facts. I didn't like the too many people walking around because there was always people just knocking on my door. I never felt safe. And it was just too many people walking around. And sometimes I'd even walk up in there and the building would be packed with people and shit. And it's just like, oh my people God. People in the hallway, like, yeah, skating on toilet paper and, it's and just, shit. Just me personally like. bringing clients there. I wasn't always <laughs> too comfortable bringing clients there, especially kids. Here, mm-hmm. I will bring a kid here. Yeah. I feel totally comfortable and totally safe Absolutely. bringing a kid here. We'll make it smoke free. We'll make it kid friendly, family friendly. This place That's is no dope. issue. But when it comes to research, where I was at, it's not the case. You could try to bring a kid, but you don't know what the building is, who's going to be in the building, if the building's going to be smoked out, if there's going to be a bunch of fucking hoodlums in there and rats and a whole bunch of other motherfuckers. Like, you just don't know what's going to be in there. 
Facts. And so that's that's what was just. Very I just didn't like too. to bring certain clients. There. It's very unsafe too because I will say somebody got shot there. Yeah, somebody died time, outside of my room. One time when I was there, facts. One time when I was there, it was beef in the back. Yeah. I think it was that one day when I was. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but <laughs> there's been there's been. Wait, one day when you were what? <laughs> Remember when I was panicking because I couldn't find my way there? <laughs> and it was that it, it was exactly that day. And there was beef in the back. Like, there was these two groups of dudes. They was in the back. They was going crazy. And I was just like, I do not feel safe here. Yeah. Like, yeah, what? Like they that. finna like, start shooting. I'm finna go. Yelling in the well, halls and <laughs> all this extra stuff. I just wasn't with it, man. And it was wild. It was just time to move on from that place. So, you wow. know, it was it was a blessing to get the, the the opportunity that I got, and I mean, I had to make my room a little smaller, but it's whatever. We have a whole building to do Shout the same out thing. To that, though. That's this how is I felt. A like, I might this not have I might not have everything in my room anymore, but I still have a whole building to still do the same shit. Absolutely. Plus more, you know. So that's how I felt about it. But like I, I mean, my room was dope though. Everything was just kind of right there. I was, was able to do everything bigger, in one. But all. then again, I, I mean, I wasn't. I didn't care for the photos. I just did it for extra money. I was never a photographer. Didn't really care about it. I only did it because a you get to see naked girls all the time, and b you were getting paid for it. So that was cool. I mean, honestly, but uh, it was it, so not having that set up all the time anymore is just like whatever. I didn't. I didn't really care for it. I don't like. I like shooting videos too, but it's just like eh, whatever. You know, um, and shout out to everybody in the chat. I, I'm sorry, I haven't really been paying attention to the chat. Shout Eric, out to what's the up? T spills. Uh, Ray Vaughn, Frankie A. Pearson. What's up? What's up, everybody? Why can't I see that? Damn. Did I? Awesome. Oh, I see it now. He said titty talk. I'm well, weak as fuck. Big What's shout out to which you, way Eric? is up, man. Big shout out to the shows. Yeah, I be having so many things going on in my life. It's hard for me to remember everything. So please, please forgive me. Um. Anyway, all right. So we're gonna I'm move just not seeing the chat. Ooh, Are we getting into another question? Yeah. All right, let's go. We're going to go into one of the questions that you asked. Oh, God. Now, I want to know about this question. Let's get it. Okay. So, <laughs> what is it? Uh, uh, let me let me see how I put All right. So, okay. how do you feel about people who lot, pretty much... Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> people who lie about their significant other's performance in bed. First of all, where did this question come from? Because yeah. you didn't want to give me the real answer, but... Okay, so this question came from me. Because, Clearly. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this question came from me because I be wanting to know, like, not from my standpoint, but from other people's standpoint. Because I have a couple girlfriends, right? And they tell me their sexual stories and things like that and all that. And so I be wanting to know if, like, the guy's lying to her or if she's lying to him. What, about, like, her performance in bed? Yeah, or his performance in bed, because you got to think about this. When you have a girlfriend, right, and then at the beginning of the time that they first had sex, oh, the D was slanging, it was great, everything was great, he was putting it down, and then it gets to the point where they're kind of sick of each other. And it's like, oh, it was never even all that anyway. I just told him that just because I I loved him and I wanted to make his head feel big. (coughs) That's love, baby. No, that's not love. Because if you're not hitting it right, I'm going to tell you so you can fix that shit. Well, I mean, some girls are just not like that. And some guys are just not like that. I mean, I've I've had sex with girls who just didn't do it for me, but I didn't tell them that. Because, I mean, that's just like a very downplaying thing. Like, that's going to make somebody really kind of feel like, oh, my God, I can't even fuck right. Like, Uh Uh-uh, you got to go home and fix that, baby. I mean, and you're right. And maybe (laughs) maybe I should just, you know, next time this happens to me, just straight up be like, hey, look, shorty, you didn't fuck right. I'm going to need you to... uh, Go watch some porn and step up your bounce game or yeah, something. Not even that, but you got to tear her more towards you, what you like. What's in porn may not be what you like, so well, it still might be trash. I'm going to be honest with me. Like, I'm a, I'm like a, a little very hippie. hippie I'm a very. You want a hippie hippie. I'm an easy person to please when it comes to the bedroom, okay? Ride my shit, we're good to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to ride it the whole time, but, like, at least give me, like, a good, like, you know, good few minutes around. I just like that. I like when a girl rides my shit. That's just me personally. All right, nowadays, let me tell you something. I don't know what they putting in the motherfucking food, but uh, the knees don't work like they used to. Not mine, but I'm talking so about So lay people. on a bed. I'm talking about other people. What you mean lay on a bed? You talking, talking about, about sucking. Oh, you talk, I thought you was about to oh. get into sucking. No, I'm not talking about, about that. Mm-mm. Oh, so, I mean, so then fucking get on your feet. I don't <laughs> Squat. That's even worse. <laughs> That's even worse. That's even more. That's even more power. So at the end of the day, like I said, 
ladies with my leaky knees. So how, let me wait, tell wait, you wait, wait, do, wait, do squats wait, wait, every wait, night wait, before you go to bed. And but hold right. up, so y'all expect us to do all the work though? It's fucking a lot of work on us, and we have to sit there and fucking stroke. We don't expect you to do all the work, but at the same time, it's a team effort. It is a team. As That's why I say you don't have to ride finish, the whole time, but at least give me matter. like a good half and half. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times though, this, like in, this shots, generation too. is very selfish. I like the back this shots, but her ass has to look good. I will say that. It's like whoever gets it first, the man or the woman, because some women come very Eric, fast. Eric, you're right. So it's very selfish. Like, it's not about, oh, I'm doing this to please Wait. my partner. It's the, oh, I'm trying to get my nut. So this generation is very right, selfish so when it comes to sex. I'm a, whoa, 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 whoa. If nah. you can't make her come, I will figure be, it out. Hold up. I will be selfish during sex. If A, I don't really fuck with a girl like that. B, she doesn't deserve a nut. And that's it. What? Honestly. She doesn't deserve a fuck if she doesn't deserve a nut. No, 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 no. You deserve to get fucked, but I deserve a nut. Oh, God. Because there's times when it's just like, shorty will be pissing you off, or she's doing too much, or she done irritated you for the day. Now it's just like, you know what, bitch? Now I'm gonna get my nut, and then that's it. I don't care about yours. But there's other times when it's just like, all right, shorty, I'm gonna nut it, but I'm gonna make sure you get yours, too. No, nah, you're not supposed to come. You, you're not supposed to come first, nigga. I, uh, all right, you know what? Fuck this. As a guy, sometimes it happens. Don't care. Sometimes you just come first. Sometimes you fucking come fast. It happens. It fucking happens to the best of us. And uh-huh. if you're a guy and you're going to act like it hasn't happened to you, you're a fucking fool. You're a liar. Yeah. That means you ain't had no good pussy in your life. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. If, you. if there hasn't been a time in your life where you busted fast, that's because of what you haven't had no good pussy. No count. That's Real a straight... Th- I don't care what nobody said. Y'all could disagree. Y'all could call me whatever the fuck. Yeah, there has man. been times where I busted fast simply because it was very good pussy. Okay. And I was, But I still kept going. <laughs> you bust. You get it out. You take your little pee real quick. You just say, hey, Not get it hard again for me real quick. Suck it, it real off. quick. No, no, no. See, you can't do that. And then you See, go you back can wipe in. it off and then you go back in, but then he there's still going to be ass. excess cum that's still in there that could still get in the pussy. Right. So you got to be careful That's with that. That's the chance you're willing to I, take when you go I, wrong nah, in the Not necessarily not true. No. Not necessarily true. Because the pull-out see, method... Even, see, even said it. It happens. Out, it happens, bro. Yeah, he I'm understands saying, me. The pull-out method doesn't always, you know, prove to be effective. So at the end of the day, no matter what, if you wiped that's, it off or not, that's why I said you gotta go come pee. Out, they gonna come out. That's why, look, you you take it out, you bust, you go take a quick piss real quick, force one out, so that you could just. Does that not hurt? And then hurt? you go back in. No, it doesn't hurt. I mean, it doesn't hurt me. If it hurts when you pee after you have sex, you might want to go get that I don't know about y'all, but when my vagina is still in sex mode, I'll be able to tell her, like, God damn, please come out. Like, that shit do not be wanting to come out. How the fuck do you go pee that fast when you Push bust it. a nut? Push it. Shit, bring out that honey pack and take her soul. That's what Eric says. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. No. <laughs> hey. No. Like, I'm if trying she, to understand. I mean, if you like, can't get her to come when you fucking her in, just go eat her out. Fuck it. Look, okay, do that. But let me tell y'all something about that, too. Just saying. Y'all need to get that right, too, because let me tell y'all something. Okay, let me look directly into the camera when I say this. Nips um, up. Tongue gymnastics. Make sure you lift your barbells at night <laughs> with your tongue and do what you're supposed to be doing. With because, your tongue? Yeah, because a lot of y'all don't be doing what y'all be doing. Y'all be to the left and to the right when y'all supposed to be in the middle. Okay, whoa, whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be real with y'all. Every girl is very different when it comes to eating pussy. Absolutely. Okay? And I'm going to tell you this from experience. Okay? Because there has been girls that I've eaten their pussy and they loved it. And then there's been other girls where I ate their pussy and they're like, yo, do you know what you're doing? Okay. So, every girl is very different. Now, I'm going to blame y'all for y'all having issues with us fucking, fucking eating y'all. And I'm going to say, and I'm going to tell you why. Because when we go to eat, you got to tell us what the fuck you want. Because... When I Alright, so if I'm so used to eating pussy a certain way, right? I'm going to eat that shit. Say I like the girl who used to like the motorboat. You hit the motorboat a lot. Like so that. if you hit the motorboat on a new chick, she's like, yo, what are you like doing? That. I don't like that. But you I used like to that. doing the motorboat. 
No. So I'm now it's just like, damn, I gotta. How I do you want it shit. though? But y'all don't want to tell y'all want your I'm pussy. I'm that shit. But you don't want to tell us how to eat your pussy. So I, now that's on you. That's not on us. That's on you. It's on you, cause like I said, unlearn that shit. Don't come to me eating me like you was eating your last bitch. Nah, don't unlearn, unlearn that, that shit, shit guys. We just coming with, we methods. coming with learn a clean no, slate. No, fuck what she's saying. Learn we different methods. We coming with a clean what slate. You're doing, bro. Yeah, I'm saying. If some girls like and the motorboat, you continue when the motorboat. When I say thing. go up, you go up. When I say go down, you go down. When I say vibrate, you vibrate. So then you okay. tell us that we're don't, not doing that. Nah, 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 nah. Because y'all don't want. Nah, nah, nah. Because y'all don't want to tell us that. Y'all are just gonna be like, I just don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you don't want. Why don't you tell me what the fuck you want? I do. I tell. Oh no, no, no. Here's another thing. Here's another thing. Okay. I'm not going to just eat any girl's oh, no, pussy. I don't bite, never. I'm not going to eat just any girl's pussy because I don't know how many dicks done been in there. Just like oh. how girls shouldn't just suck any dick. But some girls will That's just facts. love to suck any dick. It don't matter That's where he's been with it. That's absolutely facts. Man, I, I, cannot, I cannot just fucking suck any girl's pussy simply because... I eat dick. So if I'm going to eat it, it got to be one that I'm familiar Whoa. with. I don't suck dick. Yeah. So it's not... We're not just out here just Remind doing war on anybody. Remind me never to even <laughs> to just stay away from her. I ain't getting my dick eaten today. I'm never. just saying, like, if we gonna do oral, do it right. We not about to play well, hold over up, the hold up, hold up, hold up. When the fuck was to eating a dick ever food. pleasurable? It's very pleasurable. You swallow Sucking it, but you Sucking a don't dick bite and it. eating a dick are two totally you different things, Shorty. Have you ever had... That's have I ever good. had a girl ha- like fully swallow my dick before? Yeah. Yes, I have. All right. So do but you that's not what eating I made. it. That's just swallowing it. That is eating it, and you regurgitate that bitch out, and it's still whole. All right. Bones. So let me ask you a question. What if like, <laughs> what if he's like deep in your throat, right? And then he just busts deep in your throat. And then you swallow that shit. And keep yeah, but not every girl's like that. See, some girls they're just like nah. Right. Them is the ones you like. that you keep over here, Whoa. and the ones you keep in your pocket is the ones that swallow it. Yo, all I'm saying is everybody. Stream freak different. bitch, swallow it. Only on audio now. <laughs> <laughs> Try to tell y'all something. Uh, Try to tell y'all this something. This has gotten very inappropriate. It's gotten very inappropriate. I'm sorry on TikTok. Oh fuck TikTok at this point. I'm sorry for the for this the kids that got their mom's phone. And, all of it is still going on TikTok. To the they can block content. my videos. I don't care at this point. Baby, um, let me tell you something. No, honestly, the one thing I noticed, though, about the TikTok is, like, yeah, if you, like, do your videos a certain way, you can get away with it. Because, like, there's certain videos I posted up, and I just picked out the cuss words, and they let it go. Facts. I've and, seen some like, crazy There were some shit. serious, like, seriously, like, kind of vulgar videos, and they were they let it go. It was wild. Yeah, like, Shorty the was over there. All I seen was this. Shit, they let it go. That we, That's I just all I seen. Out I was all like, covers. and then she came up and said something funny, and it was cute. But... The Ooh. first couple seconds, she was sucking. You know what I'm saying? All right, I have a perfect Ghost question it. for the next one. I have a perfect question for the that next one. That was my question. question, right? Yeah, that was Did your question. Did we answer it? Uh, kind of. <laughs> In a way. She got me on the tequila tonight. I'm not drunk, but I feel good. We on that tequila. We on that, y'all. I'm saying. Stay tuned, y'all. Make sure y'all share the live. Can you believe that? Oh, man. Um. So this, this question I have specifically. So I have a song coming out called No Second Chances. Uh-oh. I ain't here yet, right? y'all. Uh, no, you did. Fuck that bitch. Oh, that's the yeah. one? Oh, so, shit. I um, thought it was called Fuck That Bitch. No, I was gonna name it that, but, you know, a lot of platforms won't like that, so. Absolutely. I didn't bring them to the second chance. Smart. No second chance. Anyway, um, oh, what was my point? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, the only reason why I even brought this. So, here's the question. I don't even know why I brought this song up. <laughs> well, I do know why I brought this song up. But, <laughs> um, so how would you feel, right, if you had a, a man, right, and... He was. He still had a lot of love for his ex. Still said I love you to his ex. Would still kiss his ex. Would still hang out with his ex. Didn't fuck her. her didn't fuck her ex anymore. But she would still kiss and hang out with him. Sit on his lap. Is he breaking bread? No. Oh, but how would you feel knowing that your that, that your man is still fully like still loves his ex? It wouldn't. That scenario is dead when it comes to me. That would never happen. <laughs> no. Um, so I need to be the only lady that you doing all that with. And if you not, then that's okay. But you could do that with her. Like, go be back with her. Like, or be single and, and still do that with her. But you're not about to have me on the sideline. I'm saying that, look. But, I mean, you got to look at it like this. You was man. You though. was you was girl now. Like, you I'm the one though. he's with. He just, like, still loves his ex. Like. Okay, well, he can still love her and be with her or whatever the case. But you're not about to play in my face. I deserve a full course meal, not coleslaw. 
I'm gonna put it to you like this. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah that. But from a man's perspective, right? If my girl still had true feelings for her ex, would still hit him up, still want to talk to him, still want to hang out with him. That's a red flag for me. Facts. Because Absolutely. It, that your ex is supposed to be your ex for a reason. But if you still, if you're not trying to let your ex go, then there's some things that you need to start thinking about. Absolutely. Right? And as the boyfriend in the situation, you better be careful, bub, because your girl's not going to be your girl, for real. Ever. In your life. Ever. You can get married to her. You can have a whole family. But she's always still going to say I love you to her ex-boyfriend. Yeah, and I feel like you shouldn't even be feeling like that if you're going to be in a relationship, a whole new relationship with somebody else. You shouldn't even be feeling like that with your ex. And if that's the case, you need to go try to make it work with them. Exactly. Because playing in somebody's face is not okay. If you're not trying to let your ex go, for real, just let him go, then that means you still have that feeling, that uh, some type of feeling for that ex. That's why people go absolutely buck wild and they... Yeah, shit ends badly because you're playing with somebody's <laughs> feelings and you're over there telling them that you love them, but you're still, you know, doing all that and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> all it's I'm saying best is, to not get involved. If that person still says I love you and hangs out with their ex. I still say I love careful, you and bub. hang out with my ex. But do you have a new boyfriend? No. All right, that's my point. Okay. I'm talking about for motherfuckers in whole new relationships. That's my dude. I'm talking about whole new relationships. You know what I'm saying? My dude forever. Anyway, I said all that just to say, fuck that bitch. And everything she did. (laughs) Everything she ever wanted. And everything she is. Hey, yo, play that shit loud. (laughs) (laughs) No, I doesn't even have the song yet. Fuck. He doesn't have the song yet. You should have that shit ready in the queue. That shit would have been perfect. Stop. No, I know it. No, it's going to be on next week's show. That's why I'm the perfect fucking toast. Because by next week, the song's going to be like, it's going to be release time for the song. So I'm going to have it definitely playing next show. What was that song that you just just released with Tip? When? Yes. Yeah. That song, it's probably, it's going to deter from our conversation real quick, but that song is a fucking amazing. It's a good that song. song is a song that I put on. Like I don't even listen to music when I work out anymore. I listen to motivational speeches. Yeah, it's one of those motivational. And that the song gym is type very song. motivational. It's like, yo, get off your ass and do what you're supposed to be doing. In order to win, you got. And take if you losses. don't fucking yeah. win, then it's your fault. Basically, that's what it says, and Pretty people much. need to hear that. Like I, I know I need to hear it sometimes. Most of the time, I need to hear that shit. Yeah, that song really just came because um, we were just on like a hard grind. For the last, for like a few weeks prior to that song being made, and was I had the beat. When you came back? No, this is before I even left. We did this way like a, two months or like a month and a half ago. Um, pretty much, like it was just grind time, grind time, grind time. That's all that was on my mind was grinding and doing things and progressing. And I had the beat, and Trust uh, me, I know. <laughs> I was there with I'm you. pretty. I, I tried to do. The, all right, me and Tip were trying to do a song. Excuse me. All right, there he goes. I was trying to wait for the burp to come up. Duh, it's anyway, the Jose. So <laughs> me and Tip were gonna do a song, and we pick. We had this beat up, but he was just like, ah, I'm not really like. I don't know. It's just not my style of beat. I said, You need to hear the hook. You need to hear the song. That's what you need to do in order for you to get on this. A couple days later, I ended up recording all of that very fast. Sent it to him. He came and knocked it out. Song was done. It was that simple. It was sometimes when you have a beat. You just need to get a little inspiration of what to put on. Right, exactly. We didn't know what to put it on, put on it at that time, and we just, I just had to kind of get it together for him. And then I sent it back to him, and he was just like, "Oh yeah, yeah." And then he came back with a perfect verse to match the song. I would not want anybody else on that song. I would he not want that. any other verse on Y'all that song. Y'all both did. That song absolutely came together. He did an absolutely perfect job. So shout out to I Am Young Tip. For doing Facts. an absolutely fucking perfect job on his verse for that song. Shout out to Tip Super for actually killing all his features. When he was recording it, I didn't feel that way. But when I mixed it, I felt totally You want to know what's crazy? You don't see me. I got the same feedback. When I, you know, I do my little recordings by myself yeah. and then all that. I didn't get, like, the feedback was horrible. And then whenever it was done and he did what he did and then um, Tip jumped on, it was different. It was like, okay, I see where you was going with this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, Tip is very talented. He's very passionate about his art. Yeah. And I I think you two together are 
like especially with the motivational music like y'all will make somebody get up off their ass because y'all don't even y'all's personality y'all don't sugarcoat shit I can yeah, say fact. that. that and I, I can think, say that. I think, honestly, that's one of the reasons why I'm able to connect with Tip so much is because we are a lot alike. Y'all like, do we not really sugarcoat are a lot alike. And that's why, that's why I fuck with Tip so hard because he just, he don't really sugarcoat shit. I don't really sugarcoat shit. You know, we just kind of, we just kind of connected. Even the first session that we had together, we didn't know each other like that. We met each other through Julian, I'm pretty sure. Through and y'all Lil just Sleep. meshed. And we just kind of meshed very easily. And he was just kind of, it wasn't even like a build it wasn't much of a building thing it was just we well of course it was building but it was like a quick build like it was just like two three sessions we were just like close like Absolutely. we were just cool we were funny laughing joking texting each other talking and shit you know yeah and so that's and now that's one of my homeboys for real like one of my close homeboys you know and uh anytime shout i ask him to cut down come through he comes through so big shout out to tip man i nice. hope you're watching and if you are watching tip you potato head looking motherfucker hey, fuck yo, you thanks. i love you bro mr yeah. potato head look at that <laughs> Let me see what time we got. Let me see. All right. So we're almost oh, at, yeah. we are pretty much almost at the end of the show. So we're okay. going to go over one more topic and then we're going to end it out. All right. Pick this a is good one. the other one that you chose. Please not the. No, okay. no, 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 no. Please, look. I, I, don't, I told do you that. I didn't know what that was. Yeah, I don't want to do that one. No. I don't even know what that is. So no, I'm not going to talk about it. Okay. So how do you feel when people. Okay. How do you feel when people empty you out? Of your energy, but don't ever pour any energy into you. I feel like fuck them. Have you had that situation happen to you? And what made you even come up with that question? I absolutely had that happen to me, but I've been that person too. Um, You're draining a motherfucker. Not draining a person, but I feel like I, I was. I ain't saying she a go digger. No play. Hush. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, because I'm actually about to speak on something that's pretty much personal to both of us. So I I feel like yeah uh, uh, it's getting real. So I feel like um at Ooh, one point in time, like at one point in time, I feel like Monty was there for me a lot more than I was there for him, and I wasn't in the space to reciprocate the love and support, and so it's going my way so far. <laughs> and so yeah, he checked me, and I ain't like it, and I cried. Oh, I know what she's talking about. And yeah, she won't happy at all. And afterwards. I checked myself, I looked in the mirror, and I said, he don't ever lie to me, so I'm going to listen to him. And I, I fixed some things. But after that, yeah, at first it was, it was and like... And you did. You did fix thank those you. things. Thank you. I will genuinely tell you that you did. Because now you hit me up on some, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> not <laughs> A just, lot. Monty, I need you. Ambulance Monty, type Monty, shit. Monty, I need you. Yeah. It's one thing if you're my client. It's different if you call yourself my friend. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. And I had to realize that because it was like, okay, we have a friendship, but he's also, you know, the only engineer I trust with my most dope art. And that's fine with You know what I'm saying? But I I realized that it was more of me just reaching out when I needed something. And it wasn't like, oh, are you okay? How was your day? And things like that. And we were actually building a friendship. So I had to check myself. It was a check yourself moment. And we all need to have those. And so I did. And we've been great after. <laughs> yes. But yeah. I had to get on her because I was he upset. Did. He because cussed me the fuck out. When you're genuinely, when I genuinely feel like you're my friend, but then I feel like you only hit me up when you need something, yeah. then I genuinely feel some type of way. Right. So with her, I felt some type of way. Because I'm and like, that yo, was hold never up. Are you my intent. friend or are you my client? I know you pay me for my services and all that, but that's not the point. Thank you. Are you my saying. friend or are you my client? Because if you're my friend, then don't hit me up when you're sad or when you need somebody to talk to. I need that. All right. But, I mean, we're past that now. But (laughs) (laughs) I need that, dog. (laughs) So, please. (sighs) But anyway. You got to grab a titty when you laugh. Yeah, but it's just like, because I was just like, damn. I mean, you called me your friend, but you only hit me up when you need something. So, I was upset. I was genuinely upset, but she took it. She was upset for a second, but then she understood it. She respected it. And I respect her for respecting it, and I appreciate her, her for respecting it, and we were able to move past it. And that's Absolutely. what, to me, was the most important part, was that we were able to move past it and still maintain a friendship and still be cool. I still and love she me has some definitely Amen. done better. You still piss me off. Though. I know. Every day. <laughs> I swear, he dog, first of all, he called me a motherfucker. What'd you call me earlier? A purple what? It wasn't buying. I called you a telly. Purple telly. telly. Yeah, like, what? And I'm over here looking good as fuck. 
I didn't say you weren't looking good, but I said you were looking like a purple towel. I was just like, damn, what the fuck? Why you do me like that? Made me feel like the one time when I went live and the dude was like, okay, but your wig is on crooked. I was like, why did you? I just oh, went live two times, seconds huh? ago and the first comment is your wig is on crooked. Oof, that's rough and tough, baby. That's rough and tough. I was like, what? <laughs> so yeah, it kind of be like that sometimes. This is like, no, I can't say that because that's kind of weird, but... This is the family member that you love to see at the cookouts, but you hate to see them because you know they're gonna rip on your fucking shoes. Like basically, I mean, I, that's what. All right, this so is what this this is the relationship. This is I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a hundred with y'all, right? <laughs> There's been times where she had something that was dope going on, and I was a dick about it because I was just like too skeptical about it. Instead of being supportive, I was being too skeptical. Oh. And so there's t- you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. So there's times that. Your friends have something dope going on. And instead of being a fucking dickhead and skeptical about it, have your skepticisms, but still support. That was the one thing that I learned from that. Absolutely. Was because she was so upset to the point where she didn't even want to say shit to me. <laughs> like, it, and so it doesn't matter what it is. Just support them instead of just being a dickhead and being so skeptical all the time. Like, I know I'm a very skeptical and realistic person, but I'm just like, yo. You didn't have to be a dick about it. That's how I felt about it. <laughs> After the fact, like, bro, why were you being such a dickhead about it? She was super excited about something, and you kind of just, you didn't shut her down, but you shut her down. And that's just how I felt about it. And I shouldn't have done that that way, and I apologize again for that. That's okay. You just have a really strong personality. and Especially people, with people I fuck your, with, yeah. Right. Like, if, if I fuck not with you, I'm going to make sure you're good. Like, they won't understand it. They're going to take it as, oh, you're just attacking them. Oh, this, that, and a third. But because I knew you before everything. It's because I get protective of people I really fuck with. Absolutely. And, so when it comes and that's to so true. That, that raises if he's my, not mean to you, he don't give a fuck about you. Facts. Yeah, if I'm always like, nice to you, that always means... always nice, he does not care about you. That's probably... Like, that's actually I'm very so, true. I'm so serious because I'm If I'm, I'm very nice you, to you all the time, that means I really don't... He will tell you, um, or if no, I don't, you if need I, to fix that. You need to stop doing that. If you I don't need to joke go see around him, with you a lot, you do that. if I don't constantly joke on you all the time, I'm probably, you know... I be joking on everybody I fuck with super oh, heavy. Like, he called me a Teletubby and I look scrumptious right now. It's okay. And, um... I just like to fucking joke on people. You know what I'm saying? And, I mean, I, I, I applaud you, though. I don't think any nip slips happened, so I'm proud of you. They did. Oh, well. I seen it on my shit. She had some <laughs> nip slips happen, guys. You'll see when you run it back. I'm weak. Some nip slips have happened, guys. Sorry. Nip slips. Nip slips sure sponsored by. Uh, I'll make sure to get the nip slips on TikTok. Oh, nip slips sponsored by duct tape. <laughs> she said, what is the tape call that I used? No, because I, okay, so I went to the store to get some pasties for this outfit when I found out it was sheer, and they didn't have white ones. They only had black ones, and I didn't want to use that, so I made my own out of duct tape. Bad bitch on a budget. Stop playing. Bad bitch on a budget. Yeah, and this is Powered by Virginia Radio. You tuned in to Shania Lord. <laughs> hey, chill. She it's just a podcast. <laughs> Yes, it's a lot. You have had that this whole time? Yes, I had this on me for like seven years. <laughs> my first time not noticing this back tattoo. Wait. I'm so serious. I'll, I'll hit you off air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, what the f- Shout out to Jose Cuervo. <laughs> Sponsoring our night. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. All right, well, we're already past time, guys. So, Shani, tell them where they can find you. Y'all can find me on every platform at Shani Allure. Y'all can find me on Instagram at underscore Shani Allure. Y'all can find me on TikTok at Shani Allure. Facebook, Shani Allure everywhere. And you can find my podcast, The Dirty Harry Show. Y'all be promoting your <laughs> show on my show. I know he, you know, you know he not going to let me do it, but no, I'm going to do it anyway. Good. You said Dirty Harry, where do you have it the on? The Dirty Harry Show on Facebook. Um, we just lifting off. We ain't nothing big like hey, chill, it's just a podcast, but we coming up there with y'all. Yeah, I use TikTok. It'll change your show. Uh, period. Look, I'm learning from the GOAT. Uh, thank y'all TikTok, for... If, for anybody who is out there, I'm going to put this down so I can use this Let's for see. I'm seeing <laughs> <laughs> So anybody who is out there who wants to make content, do it first of all second of all consistently do it just make your content guys don't be a, like fuck what everybody else is worried about or doing or how they feel about your content put your content out 
Absolutely. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter if people like me like it or not. Or people like her <laughs> like it or not. It doesn't matter if anybody likes it or not. Fuck what we think. Still put it out anyway. Let us hate on it. Because you know why? If we hate on it, it's just going to give you more views. Anyway. Absolutely. So it doesn't fucking matter if we hate it on it or not. I'm trying but to tell you. Anybody who has a podcast, use TikTok. I'm being 100% honest with you guys. It has changed my whole motivation for this show completely. I, I, I like to do the show, and I'm going to be 100 with you guys. I've been looking forward to this all day. You know why? You over a million, right? Yeah, well over a million views. Now. Okay. But, like, I was looking forward to this all day simply because I have been stuck in my studio, and I wanted to do something that I enjoyed to do. Dopamine. In this, I like to do the podcast now. Mm-hmm. I like having guests that I enjoy having on the show. I like coming a little bit lit where I'm a little bit more loose and a little bit more fun and agile and just <laughs> with it. You know what I'm saying? I like Yo, to get my a little shaky with it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get the tape off. <laughs> get a nip slip for real. No, for real. Y'all got a couple of nip slips. So don't play that back slow-mo. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> Make sure you guys clip them and post them yourself, okay? <laughs> No, but um, uh, quick announcements though. Since we, I didn't even do it at the beginning of the show. We have, we are partnering with all these fight clubs and organizations around Virginia. So, uh, we are going to be doing a lot more of the boxing events. They just had one the other day. Absolutely. Right out where was it? Loud in Norfolk. No, right out in Norfolk. Yeah, it was that was the Norfolk. one that I performed. One, what, at? Isn't it August twenty seventh? Is that. one of our July twenty seventh or August twenty seventh? Is the next something like that. July 2nd is the next fight. We're also looking for Something performances like to be at these fights. Um, I covered one, and I'm looking for some more people Back to it, cover uh, them. The Power by Virginia team, we're going to be covering the media. Um, yeah. We're going to be doing the interviews. Um, yep. And we're going to start live streaming the fights eventually. The, the fights are amazing. We're get there. And, and, I'm telling you, it's entertainment from the time you walk in to the yeah. time you leave. I was in there like, Ooh. Duh, yeah, so like it was crazy. It was, it I was, was like, I love it here. My stupidity <laughs> for uh, uh, like booking and taking a deposit for a session right during one of the shows I was supposed to be a part of, and I take full responsibility for that. And now I feel terrible about it because I really wanted to go to it. And now I'm gonna make sure I don't miss the next one <laughs> because it's just going to the fights are fun. Like I've been to a, one boxing you. match in my life, <laughs> and it was an amateur fight, and it was just right out in Norfolk, and it was fun to just be there. Like yeah. I didn't care who was fighting, I didn't care what was going on. I was drunk, and I was watching people beat each other up. Look, man, they was beating I mean, the crap out of each other, but it was you get great. drunk and watch people fight. It's fun. It was that's, great. That's all I'm saying. Like, <laughs> you drink some beer and watch people fucking beat each other up, and it's it's a good time. It was um, dope. Any other shout outs I got, um, I do have some new music dropping out pretty soon. I've been working on a lot of different things in the studio. Um, no Second Chances is going to be dropping in just a couple days on July 1st. The first song I ever like pushed out as fast as I could, all because it was directed towards somebody. Fuck that bitch. Oh uh, and that's just, you know, it was just directed towards that so person. Insane. So I just wanted to get that out as fast as I could. And um, my other song is completely the opposite of that. It is. It is completely about falling in love. So. Oh. Yeah, but it's a summer vibe though. There might be falling a surprise guest on that. With you, girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, regardless of what he's talking about, make sure y'all scream yeah. "Win" right, by sorry. him. Yeah, my session's here anyway. Too. So. Go ahead. What were you saying? I'm sorry. I was, I was making sure they scream "Stream Win" by him and I am Young Tip because I love that song and head, I man. work out to it now and I do a lot of squats, 100 squats per night. And I want you guys to do that too instead of getting BBLs. Thank you. That should be getting mm-hmm. jiggling. That should be jiggling too. <laughs> yeah, if you curious. do squats, your butt will not be hard. It will be soft. I don't know about all that. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. I do 100 squats per night and my butt is still jiggly. So I'm just saying, just don't overdo it. But I'm just going to not. Anyway. Shout so out to all my beautiful women out that's there. That's what we got today. You know? That's, that's, <laughs> what, <laughs> that's what we got today. Anyway, all right, guys. My session is here, so I definitely have to peace out. This has been, hey, chill, it's just a podcast. Shani Lord, thank you for coming up. Thank you. I will you. catch you guys later. Peace out. Bye. <laughs> Powered by Virginia. Radio. Radio.